A few months ago, I came across this viral video of a man jumping over a golden Bugatti. This video caught my eye for two reasons. Number one, it's a golden million dollar Bugatti. It's pretty hard not to notice. And number two, I noticed that the area that the video was shot in looked very familiar. And that's because it was shot here, in the middle of the street, in the exact same city that I live in. So that means the man who owns this Bugatti is a local. And after doing some research, I found out that his name is King Amanpour. He's the largest car accident lawyer in my city and happens to own my dream car, the Bugatti Veyron. There's only 450 of these cars ever made and only 72 in the US. So my odds of seeing one in person were slim to none until now. If you've seen my channel before, you know that I love challenges. So the next challenge I wanna take on is to find a way to not only see this car in person, but to also physically drive it. So how am I going to do this? Well, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that you can get pretty much anything you want if you just ask. I sent King an email telling him that I'm a YouTuber that wants to drive his Bugatti. And this was a shot in the dark. I genuinely did not expect a response back. But two days later, today, I received a response. All right, I haven't read the response just yet. I wanted to get this on camera so I have my genuine reaction and I'm honestly pretty hopeful right now. All right, here it is. Dear Brandon, who the fuck do you think you are asking me to drive my Bugatti? <laughs> okay, I'm joking, I'm joking. Dear Brandon, thank you for reaching out. You have a great YouTube channel and seem like a wonderful young man. I've come up with a fitness challenge that will give you the chance of winning time in my Bugatti. I'll have my team reach out to you to coordinate a day and time for us to meet up. P.S. Bring fitness equipment you've used in your videos. You're gonna need it. And just like that, I was now on the phone with King's team, and we were planning out the day that I would get to meet up with King and hopefully drive my dream car for the first time ever. King can do next Friday at 11 a.m. Can you make it? Yeah, n next Friday at 11? Absolutely. Awesome. Well, we're confirmed, and I'll text you the address. All right, so we got King pulling up right now. There he is. Look at that thing shining. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. It's a pleasure. Same. Oh my gosh. Wow. I, I can barely look at this thing. It's so, it's so it's pretty bright. shiny, right? Yeah, it's incredible. Well, King, can you show me around this thing? Absolutely, this man. <laughs> Special key, it goes up to 1200. How much is this Bugatti? This is around 1.5. 1.5? Yeah. <laughs> you have a challenge for me, apparently. I right? do have a challenge for you. I heard you want to drive the car. That's right. I would absolutely love to drive this even for a second. So, what can I do to drive this? We're going to give you one hour to do as many push ups as you can within that hour. And for every push up you do, you get to drive the Bugatti for one second for every push up. You know, that's not too hard. You know, I could do but that. But there's a twist. The twist? I have a box for you. Okay. And in this box, every 10 minutes you have to pull out something, and the something you pull out can either help you or it can hurt you in this challenge. You got this? I can do it. Time starts now. Now, John, let's go, let's go. Let's get some reps in. Take off the watch. Ready? One. My strategy was to start out with sets of 20 and then gradually go down in reps to avoid burning out my chest and triceps too soon. And this strategy was working out very well for me. Ah, another 20 right there. We got 40 seconds with the Bugatti, let's go. Johnny should get in here and do some push-ups too, man. Nah, I'm good. You good? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to do push-ups for a whole no, hour? No, no, no. You're not interested? Okay. Yeah. Yo, stay away, homie. Oh, stay what away. the hell? <laughs> By the end of the first 10 minutes, I was at 130 reps, which equates to a little over two minutes of driving the Bugatti. 10 minutes. Oh no, not the box. It's time for the Gucci box. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay. One push up equals two seconds for five minutes. Okay, let's Looks go. Like you're gonna double your action. Okay. Let's go. I thought I was about to get a sabotage. Oh my gosh. Conserving my energy from the beginning ended up working in my favor. Now that each push up was worth two seconds, I pushed myself to get as many as I could in the five minutes. That's it, man. You did five minutes, you're back to singles now. Oh man. No, none of this double stuff again. At this point, we almost have five minutes of driving the Bugatti and still 40 minutes left of doing push ups. We were on pace to get a lot of time in the Bugatti. Bugatti until this happened. Okay, Brandon, we're at the second. Oh man. Ten minute mark. All right, let's see. 
Oh, I'm worried. What's this say? King, this is blank. Yep, it's blank because I get to decide what the next challenge is. So for your next set of push-ups, for the next 15 push-ups, John, your camera guy, has to sit on top of you while you do your push-ups. What? What? Yep. Dude. Let's go. <laughs> oh my on god. On the ground. Let's go. Yo, wait, you you're heavy, bro. I'm 175. <laughs> Go, bro. <laughs> I can't. Yo, th there's no way I can do that. So clearly you can't do it. So <laughs> minus 20. Minus 20? That's right, bro. Sorry, dude. Back to work. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Let's try to make it up. Uh, one, two. Uh, another 10. 255. We're at the halfway mark. Halfway? Oh. Time for another challenge. We you ready? I'm ready. Okay, catch your breath, young man. Let's roll. Weight vest, five minutes. Hell yeah. Oh, yes, no. let's get that vest. Oh my let's gosh. Roll. No. Get the vest. Let's rock and roll. This is a 30 pound weight vest. I have to wear this for five minutes. Hey, Brandon, now that you have the vest on, I'm going to join you for a few. Are you going to join me? You ready? All right, let's do it. The 30 pound vest was a major setback. I felt my chest and triceps burning out, as well as sharp pain in both of my wrists. With just under 30 minutes left, this was truly going to be a grind. That brings us to what, 285 reps right there? <laughs> We've hit the five minutes, so. Oh, yo, we hit the five minutes. I only did like, what, 30 extra push-ups with this? Take this vest off. And we're back to just our body weight. After taking off the vest, I felt super light. And before the next draw, I pushed myself to do as many reps as I could to make up for the weight vest sabotage. Oh. Time to draw another challenge from the box. All right, let's do it. King. Nail beds for five minutes? You got this? <laughs> I guess, yeah. Come on, Brandon, what's uh, up? That was the one I was hoping I wouldn't draw, but we got the nail beds. Ooh, that's one. Okay, that's two. Oh. Yo, you see the hands right away. All these little imprints. That's only two reps, man. Okay. Oh, that's another two. One, beep, two. Okay, yeah, we're going two and at a time. Ooh. Oh. That is just, dude, that's legit. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, Kyle. Okay. okay. Oh my God, <laughs> that hurts, bro. Oh. Good news, Brandon. You've hit the five minute mark. You can go back to regular push ups. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Oh, that's so refreshing. Just flat, soft grass. 400 flat right now. We're at the 50 minute mark. Oh shoot. Last okay. challenge, bro. Let's see what we can pull from here. Subs help? What does this mean? It means you can reach out to all the subs on all of your different platforms and they can do push-ups and add to your total. Really? Yes. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. I immediately recorded a story post and uploaded it to my Instagram. All right, there we go. We posted on the story. Hopefully we get some people send it in within the next 10 minutes. Let's get these final reps in. I'm a subscriber. Does that mean I can do some push-ups? That's a good point. Let's see it. One, two, three, four. The last two sabotages set me back immensely, but I had a lot of confidence that my subscribers would pull through and help me make it up. And pull through, they did. One minute left, dude. One minute? Okay. Now with only one minute left, I was pushing myself to my absolute limits. And so were all of you. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> no. No, my chest is giving out. One more. That was 10. All right, yes. Oh. Good job, dude. Oh you got my gosh. this. Now that we're done with the challenge, I'm gonna take a few minutes to calculate how many seconds I got. 
and we'll head up into the Bugatti. All right, we're here on a new day. I'm no longer sweaty and dirty from doing all those push-ups. It's now time to drive the Bugatti. So all together, we got 885 reps. Woo! I know, it's absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for your help. And that totals out to 15 minutes of driving the golden Bugatti. 15 minutes? That's right. Well, That's dude, right. here are the keys. All right, here we go. We're gonna turn on the Bugatti. So I just turn that. And there's a start button here. Oh my God, jeez. That sounds insane. Here we go. We're going boys. This this uh, steering wheel is pretty heavy duty, man. Dude, I'm barely pressing and I, I, just, I just hear the engine. It's like a, it's like a freaking airplane. I can't believe I'm driving a $1.5 million car right now. All right, so King, while we're driving this Bugatti, you've achieved a lot of success in your life. And I, I wanted to take this opportunity to ask you a question. What is some general advice or just tips that you would give to someone to be successful in life, in life, business, anything? I think the most important piece of advice is to be genuine, sincere, kind to people. Believe in karma. Karma does exist. You have to be a good person and treat others the way you want to be treated. And if you do that, you will never lose your enthusiasm in this world. Super, super important. Don't let this world diminish the light that you emit. And you emit a lot of light and you're a good person, Brandon. And always remember that. Thank you so much, King. There you go, guys. Kindness, integrity, that is the key. All right, here we go. We're gonna give a little gas here just to feel it out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, do you hear that? Do you hear the Bro, I'm used to 179 horsepower with my Scion. <laughs> hey, Scions are good cars, okay? They are, they're very reliable. <laughs> what other kind of cool features that I probably haven't noticed yet about this car? Well, what's really cool is when you push this button, this, that button. Go ahead and uh, push it and hold it down. Oh, there's the tail. And it's going up. Woo! Let's hit it just so you can feel some torque. All right, ready? Just a few seconds here, three, two, one. Oh my god, dude, this is crazy. That, oh my, dude, one one or two seconds is all you need to like just get pure happiness from this car. Wow, what an experience, King. Thank you so You're much. You're so welcome. Make sure you guys go check out King. If you haven't already, I'm gonna link his channel down below in the description, Attorney King, and go show him some love. Subscribe to his channel. Like this video, smash the subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.